Controversy time! So, last season we had The Gift of the Mod Pie, an episode which I overall enjoyed, but also made me slightly concerned that the writers were starting to overuse Maud. In my opinion, Maud Pie is a character that's best in small doses. So, did rock solid friendship alleviate those concerns? <laughs> no. I'm really torn on this episode. The first half is good. I love seeing Rarity and Spike gem hunting together, and I like seeing Rarity's adorable minor helmet again, and I like the interaction between Maud and Starlight, and the confirmation of Starlight's kite hobby. But once the Pi sisters go to bed, it all goes downhill. When watching the episode the first time, I thought that Pinky being seemingly oblivious to the fact that Starlight and Maud were getting along, I thought that was building up to a joke. But no, the episode is treating Pinky's behavior seriously, which makes it a whole lot less accessible for Pinky to seemingly be that stupid, because that way she's not feigning stupidity for the sake of a joke. And all because Maud didn't simply tell Pinky what was going on, which she didn't seem to have any trouble doing in her debut episode. So when morning comes and Maud is gone and she left a note, I was left flabbergasted as to what happened. You were getting on well with Starlight, why the hell are you leaving? What? That whole part just makes no sense to me. And then what Starlight says to Pinky is just mean-spirited. In fact, the entire second half of the episode is kind of mean-spirited to Pinky. Though I am impressed with how they managed to make Maud too competent and completely incompetent at the same time. The entire episode treats Maud as though she's better than Pinky in every way, but she's apparently too stupid to do any research on Ghastly Gorge before moving there. And the fact that she shows no concern over nearly being eaten by that quarry eel? No. Just no. Even Rainbow was afraid to spend a single night in that place. Maud may be tough, but she's not that tough. It really comes off to me like the writers are over-glorifying Maud. And they didn't need to because I liked her in her first few appearances. It's only now that they're over-hyping her that I no longer like her. It's almost like trying to force somebody to like something has the opposite effect. Weird, right? I guess the episode kind of parallels with real life in that respect. Oh, and way to spit on the moral of two episodes ago. Since when has Mott had any trouble talking about her feelings? And yes, yeah, Starlight, you keep on not talking about your feelings. It's not like that ever led to anything bad happening, like, say, two episodes ago. Recently, I've noticed a disturbing pattern, or trend, or whatever. In the episode Maud Pie, Maud saved Pinky from something that was Pinky's fault. In the gift of the Maud Pie, Maud saved Pinky from something that was Pinky's fault. In this episode, Pinky did save Maud, but from something that was still Pinky's fault. I hate to use the phrase Mary Sue, so I think it's been really overused, but I can't help but feel that Maud might be starting to become what that phrase originally meant, a character who can do no wrong and is lorded above all others, or at least above Pinky, who's my favorite character, so that's unacceptable. Totally not biased at all. I really thought Pinky forgetting that she's a good haggler in Gift of the Mod Pie was just a fluke. But no, it seems it was a harbinger of things to come. Well, okay, that's a bit overdramatic. But still, it bothers me. Overall, I don't hate rock-solid friendship, but I do hate the last 10 minutes. Also, you should absolutely talk about your feelings. Always. Nothing good has ever come of it whenever I've stayed silent about them. To finish off, this episode is repeating both the moral of Maud Pie and of A Friend Indeed. Season 7 is way too late for Pinky to have to relearn this. Really, really too late. Character regression is not character progression. Can't believe I even have to say that. And finally, nobody is better off with less Pinky in their life. I don't have a Pinkie Pie in my life. The fact that Starlight and Maud do but don't seem to appreciate that fact kind of bothers me. <sighs> Maud is a character I used to like, but I'm sorry to say now that I do not. I give the writers of MLP an ultimatum. Make an episode where Pinky saves Maud from something that is Maud's fault. Then and only then will I start liking Maud again.
So, I guess the proper way to end videos is to say thank you for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like, I'd appreciate it. And all my social network accounts are in the description. See you in the next one. It looks like Mott got all wet from being inside the quarry eel's mouth. She's completely useless now.